Welcome to another installment of Lunch with LD. I'll be your host, Justin Eldridge. On this week's episode, we will be talking about S footwear and how I used to be a professional skateboard for a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought some of my old theories. I went up in the rafters and picked out I mean, I have so many, so maybe we could do this a couple times, but I picked out two colors from each model. I had four I had four uh, models of the Theory, so I brought them so you guys could check them out. So I had these shoes called the Theory. Where are they at? And uh, this was the first one. So basically when I got on S, it all happened kind of fast, but when I got on S... I was pretty like it was like the heat of my career and um I guess shops were asking for a pro shoe for me and at the time I was skating excels a lot but um America is like you know joined it's like part of S um or at least Soltech um it's America and Etnies and S and at the time I wasn't really telling too many people but I filmed in them anyways but Reynolds had a vulcanized shoe I think it was like the Reynolds 3 or something I can't remember, like, at the time. So I was skating in that. I was kind of, like, spray painting them or whatever. And, well, actually, they came to me, and they asked if I wanted to have the first um, vulcanized SU. And I was tripping. So, yeah, I they gave me... I had nothing to do with the initial design of the first shoe. They kind of gave me a silhouette and was asking if I liked it. And, of course, I'm like, dude, it was insane. So these were the first ones. This isn't the first color, but it's kind of similar to this. So pretty, pretty simple. You know what I mean? I like to keep it simple. You got this like um, kind of like weatherproof suede with the canvas blue with my little name tag right here. That was my design to put the name tag like that. And uh, yeah, with the little fucking flannel in inside. Pretty sick, dude. I, I used to love, I think I, my, I was one of the first ones to do it. Like, maybe not, maybe, I think I was, might been. Um, no line. You know how shoes have that line on the sole? I just liked it fucking buttery-ass white. But yeah, these were like, this was the theory. This was the first shoe I ever had. And yeah, stoked on these. So that was the first color I had. Or not this, not this color, but this is the first shoe I had. Boom. Pretty sick. I thought about actually bringing these back out and wearing them, but <clears throat> I don't know. I'm trying to keep them, you know what I mean? All right, here's another color in the beginning, I mean, in the first shoe that I had. These ones are kind of dope. This is just your buttery ass. Um, take this fucking. This is just like a, a nice burgundy. I was a fan of the burgundy back. I still am a fan of the burgundy, but it had the perforated. Uh, side panel and the front toe these ones with with the white clean buttery sidewall on the uh outsole these ones were sick dude i used to love this shoe such a good skate shoe now, these are one of my favorite colors um yeah show and tell that's how we do it these ones are dope thank you i appreciate it i remember you had the penny twos with the core corduroy texture at the girl in chocolate demo in valencia 2006 yeah i've been skating for a while huh fuck um i used to skate to pennies i used to skate to excels a lot eric's shoe i skate a lot of shit but i like mine the the most because you know they were the dopest i'm just playing bring them shits back i know i gotta we gotta talk to kelly i mean we've already look we've i said this last time we we've talked about bringing my shoe back it's just I they have a lot going on over at, at S and um, yeah maybe in maybe in the later future maybe this will spark it maybe we can get it sparked from this but I'd love to see it back all right so I had I had the original theory and then so that that shoe I didn't design they kind of gave me the silhouette and then now all these other shoes are my my designs and kind of just I mean just tweaks on the shoe so this one's called the theory mid I wanted a midsole I mean a mid top and uh 
So we made a mid top, and I was always a fan of. So these ones, I don't know if these ones came out. These one, I mean this color. So yeah, I wanted a mid top, and also love this strap, Nike. So first of all, little, little inside knowledge about your boy. My favorite movie of all time is a movie called Bad Boys. It's with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Apologize for my family leaving me money? All I ever wanted to be was a cop. I wake up and I take it to the max every day. I'm always the first one to the crime scene. I'm always the last one to leave. So you know what? Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck everybody who got a problem with Mike Lowry. See what I'm saying? I love that movie. So he... Will Smith wore a pair of Nikes. I can't remember what it was. Um, running fucking after somebody in that movie. And it was Nikes and they had to strap across the toe like that. And, oh, sidebar. All the other bad boys are dope, but bad boys one, you can't fuck with. So anyways, yeah, I, uh, I always wanted a strap. So we made a strap. I mean, you got the little lace cover. I thought that was sick. Um, and then, yeah, and then, so that's that's what happened. This is what we got. I really love this shoe. It came in so many dope colors, and, and uh, yeah, this is one of the sick colors that I picked to fucking bring for you guys. I had so much fun with colors, because at the time, um, dude, they were, we were designing fucking new colors, like, a lot. So I got to just, like, any, any, I would go shopping you know for um you know r and d and just like pick shit out that i like but i'd also like to like take you know just simple shit but then give it a little something and this is like what it what one of the ones that i was super stoked on is like super simple black and this is what i was talking about the line like i probably would have not had a line on there but we some people like the line so these are just black, right? But if you can see, which I don't know if you can. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can. But they're corduroy. These are corduroy. They got little corduroy hits around the toe, the strap, in the back. Um, yeah. These ones are fresh. This was also one of my things. This sock monkey. Um, let's see if I point it this way. Little sock monkey in, in the sole. This was in the beginning. I can't remember why this was a thing, but yeah, I used to have a sock monkey. Um, yeah, players. This is one of my favorites. Corduroy, just black butters. Tight. Oh, okay. Look at this. This is literally the shoe I was about to go to next. This is where I started to get to design the shoe. And um, this one, I skated probably the most. The last one, this one and the last one, were my absolute favorite, I mean, because I got to design um, them. And so this was called the Theory 1.5. And this was a chocolate collab that we did. This is the box. I had your boy's name on the back. Matthew, if you're still watching, it's your name too. And um, this colorway was so sick. Um, for some reason, I mean, I've had this these shoes for so long i don't know where the strap went to this but so basically what i came to them with was i, I love the strap but i wanted to be able to take it off you know and you could like maybe if you bought a couple pairs you could change the strap color or we could print put other straps with it um well yeah or you could just wear it without so that was like a design that i i brought to the table and um yeah these are the chocolate collab that we did um, I also implemented, this is when shoelaces came with two color shoelaces too. Isn't that crazy? Um, this is when I implemented the, uh, I think I might've implemented in, in the theory mid one of them, but, uh, the stash pocket, this was the stash pocket under the tongue Velcro, you know, you could put your house key, you know what I'm saying? You know, a little, some pretzels if you get, so sort of like you have a snack. Um, but yeah, these are the chocolate ones and that's what I have I'm holding in that picture. You can see the, um, strap is like purple, but S was pretty stacked back in the day and they had some gnarly people. And then uh, even the people that didn't skate for S to see like Rodrigo, who was one of my favorite skateboarders of all time. He skated the shit out of this shoe. 
And to see people like that skating your shoe was such a crazy, humbling experience for me. Um, and this was the one that, like, people skated the most. Like, I remember fucking Antoine Dixon skated the shit out of this shoe. So, uh, super cool. Brings back a lot of memories. But, yeah, that's the chocolate one I thought I'd share with you. And Robert's just doing a great job pulling that shit up. These are the Royal collabs that we did. Loved this color. Um, put the Royal pop on the back. So fire. Um, got that like eggshell white on the inner. Um, it, uh, so this is the, this was this, the strap, see the strap like comes off. You can fucking, you know, just do your laces or whatever. But yeah, these were my favorite, one of my favorite shoes to skate. And I feel like a lot of people had a lot of fun skating in them. So if I were to bring back one of them, I think I might bring back these ones. I think these ones might might be my favorite. It's hard to say favorite, but these ones had like the most to them, like with the strap you could take off. And then also like, I don't know, they were just like dope. So these are my last pair of shoes. These shoes I designed from the ground up. Uh, these were the, the just, I don't know, super proud of them. Um, wanted to go back to a low top, so we did. I basically drew these and I remember drawing the um, drawing on a napkin in a hotel room. So, I mean, it's fair, pretty simple, but I mean, to design a shoe, you kind of need to figure out a lot of things. So this is one of the colorways, super simple, um, amazing toe. And uh, the tongue was one of my favorite things because I, I made it a little etched out. All right, etched out in the side, if you could see that kind of, how it's like a little diagonal cutout right there. So that way you can kind of like lace it tight, but the tongue would still pop out, you know, in the shoes. This also has a stash pocket in it. This was a colorway I ran on pretty much all of them too, the gray and the burgundy. Um, this was one of my, this would have been, if it wasn't for the, <laughs> if it wasn't for the, uh, the mid top I just showed you, this would definitely be my favorite shoe of all time. And then the last color, which not really the best for last because they're all dope, um, but it is one of my favorites, is just that buttery ass butterscotch brown with the black tongue. And you know what's funny is if you can see it, yeah, see my name right there. At this point, I started golfing at this point, and this writing, the, the J is Titleist, is from the Titleist, uh, their logo. So I took the, the J, uh, their T, and made it into my J. Um, the font. The font, yeah. So, yeah, that's them. They got the little gold hits on the side. These ones were one of my favorite. I skated a shit ton in. So, yeah, that's me designing a shoe right there. Super dope. Um, funny story. I used to hacky sack a lot. And S gave me like a somewhat of a pro hacky sack. I, I thought it was cool for um, warm up. You know what I mean? You get all warmed up fast. So that's what I did for a while until I fucking hurt my knee. And then that shit hurts your knee. So I stopped doing it.